love from love, hope from hope, peace from peace. Those are the names of Allah, and He is the Lord God of all mankind, Jeremiah 32, 27. And as His whispering voice of love comes forth like running water, realize that running water never grows stale, so we can, all we have to do is just keep on flowing. And in this hour of, of distortionality of spirituality being eliminated, no more does anyone ever need to look through a glass darkly anymore as the word of God declares we've been. These are the days of Elijah, the days of Shiloh, the days of the latter-day Daniel, who is he? Who is the Mahdi? It's time to realize that the running water runs deep. And the deeper waters are, the, the more still they do run. And where the waters agree of truthfulness, love, and hope for a, a, a great future, it's quite wonderful the relief that such living water of our beloved gives us if we hold on to his word. So realize that life is not like the water. Things in life don't necessarily flow uh, over over the, the possible roads, over the shortest one. The running water of life takes the long way many times. And so these days must be cut short as Isa Yeshua Jesus said in Matthew 24, 22, or else all life on earth would perish. So know that if you let your love to be as free as free indeed could be, it is time to see that our love is like running water, that uh, as it flows it will never stagnate, and water will evermore be the driving force of all nature and of all people who look to Christ with his living water for all. And in this hour realize that uh, mercury is mercury whether it is in one piece or a million. Uh, there is no difference at all. And for that reason there is no sun that Allah has ever had. And in this time it is absolutely true that uh, there would never be another important prophet down the road. For he knew the secret of Allah, of Revelation 10, 7. The first is last, and the last is first. And when the seventh tr trumpet blew, according to the book, it came to pass that the Lord God in, uh, inherited all mankind, because they were always his Anyways, these are the days of running water, the reason of our birth. Such alone is the healer, the destroyer, and the final consumer if we will let his waters, uh, cleansing waters, free us and renew our hearts. So it's time to run wild and free, just like a waterfall. Do not be sad for your tears as, as rocks never regret the waterfalls and know that it is absolutely important to see that in but one drop of water are found all of the secrets of all of the oceans and it is time for love's unity there are no Christians there are no Muslims or Hindus or Buddhists there are only people who love and people who do not we have way over complicated things and all must go back to the roots. And know that the deeper the waters are, uh, it's time to hear that resonance because God is calling each of our name by pouring out his flood of love upon all flesh, as Joel 2 and Acts 2 said would happen in the latter days. Uh, my soul is not upright, but the just will live by my faith, as Habakkuk 2, King James, and Jewish Bible does say. Because there is no good man, not even one, Romans 3.10. 
but it's never about us. If it's without Christ and his love within us, uh, no, no one would ever be good or could be good. But with him alive as a child, uh, with his love unconditional moving forth as living water, then we can be good even when we're sleeping. And so realize now that there is a river that uh, you cannot touch and you cannot touch the same wa water twice because the flow that has passed will never pass again. We need to enjoy each and every moment of our life. And uh, water is therefore sufficient as the spirit of love moves over all the waters. And time is as a river. You cannot touch the same water ever again. We must stand still as it passes. And so nothing is softer or more flexible than water. And yet uh, we must realize that nothing can ever resist it. Say to the flood of God's love to stop in the middle of your dried up valley. He will uproot all the dead trees by the root. And so the water is always flowing at a steady pace, ignoring that, uh, uh, ignoring that life is a race, ignoring that life is a battle that everyone must face. And so it is time to realize that it is life, I think, to watch the water. Uh, people can learn so many things just by looking at the water. And water liked to be free. Water hated being trapped. And it's time to become free. And the Lord will set us free indeed because it's never been about believing anything. It's always been about keeping our love light on. Isa said uh, to the Christians, Isa said that as far as born again goes, you cannot even tell where the wind blows, but you must be as little child. They went and defined that you must believe in him to, to, uh, to be born again. When many, uh, he said, are, are gonna say, Lord, Lord, I believed, I did this, I did that. And he's gonna tell them, I get away from me. I never knew you because it was never about believing shit. It was always about letting your love be large and believing in me as love for all those who love are born again of God and know him because I am love saith the word of God in 1st John 4 7 so realize now that the fall of dropping water always wears away the stone and it is time for the glory of our beloved who is the blessed and the adored our majesty of majesties our treasure of excellence and our excellence of treasure 